Hey, what's up everyone, Game Dad here, and today we are gonna take this GameCube that has a busted disk drive and replace it with this little guy right here, the GC Loader. Now, if you have ever run into the issue where your GameCube no longer plays games properly, it can't read the discs anymore, then this might be a solid upgrade for you. They don't often go in stock, but whenever they do, they're fairly affordable for what they can do, which is allow you to play ISOs or ROMs of games. That way, whatever you have in your collection, you can do a backup of it, and then you can play it via SD card instead of the actual gameplay disc. Now, I have had this GameCube for many, many moons now, and it is no longer reading games properly, so I thought this was the perfect one to do this upgrade to, and then later on, there are some other upgrades that I may want to do to this as well, such as an HDMI mod, and a region mod, and maybe even upgrade the fan cooling the case. Like, there's tons of different cool mods you can do, but the one we're doing today is this guy right here, and that is the GC Loader. And it's a nice little two-sided guy right there. You screw it in place. And what is really nice about this is this is now the no solder version. All you gotta do is screw it into place, attach your SD card to it, and you're good to go. It is a super simple mod to do. And yeah, we're just gonna dive in and get this going. So we're gonna take this apart. We have a ton of screws to get through because the GameCube is notorious for having a ton of them. But once you get into this, it's actually a very simple install process. So let's dive in and get it taken care of. But before we do, a quick shout out to today's video sponsor, Into the AM, and more on that later on in the video. And there you have it everyone. It is all back together with that nice new mod in there. But before I show you everything that 
it looks like now, let's go ahead and talk about today's sponsor, Into the AM. Into the AM offers amazing deals on shirts and other kinds of apparel with unique designs. The shirts are super comfortable and lightweight. They're very breathable and they just provide for a really cool update to your overall wardrobe. I personally have several items from the various collections on Into the AM and they are coming out with new designs all the time. So a huge thank you to Into the AM for sponsoring today's video. And if you want to be able to get anything from Into the AM for yourself, then go ahead and check out the link in the description below. Now, let's go ahead and dive in and see what this looks like. It's very simple. It is a very quick and easy to do mod. There's no soldering, anything like that. And once you open it, I got the little add-on kit here. So now it looks like there is still a disk drive in there, but instead it is storage for two SD cards and then the slot where you put the SD card in. As you can see right there, it is nice, simple, elegant. And if you get this extra add-on, you can find them basically anywhere. But if you get this extra add-on, what's really cool is instead of having a giant just gaping hole right there that you have to reach down in in order to put your SD card in, you just have this little slot right there. It's good to go. And if you have tons of different games, then you can have multiple SD cards. Now, on the topic of SD cards, I will put links down in the description below to where you can find uh, the Swiss software, as well as the latest firmware update for the GC loader. And it could not be more simple. All you have to do, take your SD card, format it as FAT32, and I'll even include a link to a utility down below that will also be able to allow you to do that. Sometimes it says EX FAT when you're formatting it. You don't want that, you want FAT32. Then all you have to do is drag and drop any of your ISOs, drag and drop the Swiss program, drag and drop the uh, update, the firmware update for the GC loader. You just drag and drop it and Swiss knows what to do. It's super simple. It's super easy to use. I'm not gonna tell you where you can get your own ISOs for things because that's not legal, piracy is wrong, but there are places you can find things and if you already have the game, it's a backup of what you already have. So that's what I'm gonna use this for because this drive no longer works properly. I'll tinker with it, see if I can do anything to make it work, but now my GameCube will actually work again and I'm very excited about that. So this GameCube is good to go. And like I said, I will have links in the description to everything, including to our sponsor Into the AM, if you wanna check them out for yourself. And if you wanna see another recent video, then check out this area right here. And as always, I'm GameDad. I thank you all for watching and I'll catch you later.